How's it going guys? Welcome back to another FootoP video. This one's going to be about how to make a professional looking YouTube banner. And I'm going to be going over how I made mine. This one's going to be a little more in depth than some of my other videos, but it shouldn't be too hard. So let's get to it. The first thing we are going to want to do is go up to file new. The dimensions for this one is going to be 2560 by 423 and change the name to whatever you'd like. So I'm going to name mine banner tutorial. I can't spell banner T. All right. Hit create. And here it is. So we're going to be putting this on a bigger picture because YouTube won't let you put this size of image. It's really weird. I'll, I'll, I'll show you when we get there. So first I'm going to start by bringing in an image that I have that I want to be the background. You can do that by dragging the file onto your photo piece. So this is the one I use for my banner and I'm going to make it bigger by clicking one of the boxes and holding shift and left click while I drag to fit the whole image like this. Get that. And then hit the check mark when you're done. Now I'm going to start by making my logo real quick because it's super simple. Okay, so I made my logo right here. And this is gonna be the center of my picture. So you just wanna line it up with the center. Move it down here a little bit. Let's see. All right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it behind the trees. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go over to my zoom tool, left click on it. Hold left click and drag until it's zoomed in. And I can't really see where the trees are. So I'm going to go over to my shape, which is my logo. Left click on it. Turn the opacity down until you can see behind it. Then you want to go over to the lasso tool. Lasso select. You can choose the polygon, regular, whatever you want. I'm just going to do the regular lasso. So once you have the lasso selected, you just want to draw, hold left click and draw around the trees as best you can get it until there's so like I messed up so I'm gonna hit control Z to back up I'm gonna redo that I don't want it to be crappy it doesn't have to be perfect but there we go so just bring it back around you can let go and it'll connect then just hit delete and then to deselect hit control D there you go so it's behind it now so it looks pretty cool let me turn the opacity back up it gives us some more depth, you know. It's a nice touch. Um, now I'm going to start adding the text. I'm going to go over to your text tool. Left click anywhere on the canvas. I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to type Canvas. And then hit the arrow. Go to the move tool. I'm going to move it a little bit where it's like not right next to it, but close enough. And then I'm going to right click on this layer and hit duplicate layer. Move it over to the right side. Drag to change it. And I'm going to type creates and hit the check mark. You see, it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, there's still more to do. I'm going to double click on Canvas. Go to, uh, let's do color overlay, make it white and do the same for creates color overlay. Make sure to check that box white. And there's some things you can do to it, but I will get to that in a second. I'm going to make this picture in the background look a little nicer. So I'm going to click the picture of the image, go up to image adjustments, brightness and contrast. I'm going to turn the brightness up a bit. You don't want to do it too much like that because it looks terrible. Just enough so when you do the contrast as well, it's a good balance. Then go back to image, adjustments, vibrance. Turn the vibrance up on that a little bit and the saturation. Not too much. This picture really shows how weird it looks when you do it too much. Hit OK. I'm going to go up to filter, sharpen, sharpen. Um, okay, uh, let's try this again. 
you know, maybe we're not going to do sharpen, but on a good day, it works. So, I mean, that's really all for the uh, background. You could add more to it if you want. But I'm going to show you some things that you might want to do. What the? Okay. Double click on one of your text layers and go to drop shadow. You can make the distance zero so it looks like a glow, which you could just do that with the outer glow, but I'm just going to do it with the shadow. Turn the opacity up to make it darker or lower if you want it to be lower. The spread and size is how like far it goes out like that. So, I mean, if you want them to do that to your other ones, it can like kind of make it more visible. But personally, I don't really like it like that. But it's all preference. See, you can do it like that. I'm gonna show you how to add some smoke to it as well. So you can search up smoke PNG and you can find a ton of options. So I'm gonna go with this one. Right click on it, copy image, go back to photo P. Click the move tool, control V and the smoke's right here. If I go to edit, free transform, I can make it smaller. I want it to just go right behind the C. This is a little different than my logo, but it's fine. I'm going to turn the opacity down. You know, it, it looks kind of trashy, but it's kind of cool. I mean, you could like layer it if you really wanted to, but like, that's an example of something you could do. Um, there's, uh, there's tons of things you can do with it, but it's all a matter of preference and what you want to do with it. I'm not personally, I'm not going to do it like that, but I'm sure if I spent more time on it, I could get it to look good. Now, if you have other social media, I'm going to show you how you can add them to the banner as well. It might look a little cluttered, but you can arrange it the way you want. I'm just going to add two social media for now because I could put it like right under here. So you can start by looking up the image of the social media you want to use like this Twitter one. And it's kind of low resolution, so you want to like find a better one. This one's PNG, luckily, but if it wasn't, you could follow my tutorial on how to remove the white background. Super easy and quick. But this one's PNG, so we're just going to right click on it. Copy image. Go back to Photo P. Control V. Here it is. Now we could go up to Edit, Retransform, Shrink it, Hold Shift to make it like go evenly until it's as you want it so that should be fine and then let's get the next social media we'll do instagram go to images and let's use we could use and yeah, that one works png go back control v you could go to free transform shrink it and you can put it up to the Twitter one so you can get like the same size. About like that. I'm gonna move it over here. Um, actually, let's do it over here. Get the Twitter, put it right here. And it doesn't really match, right? You know, because the colors are like kind of off. So if you want to double click the layer of both of them, Go to color overlay, white, looks good. Do that to the other one as well. I need to do better organization. Like I can't tell what anything is. Uh, maybe someone can make a tutorial for that because I definitely need to follow it. So now they're both white and okay, looks good. And you could type your text tool, your ats. So for Twitter, at works, I don't really use either. Add Cambit Cameron, which is actually my Twitter. So if you want to check that out, please do. I don't really post much, but I will talk to you guys if you want. Ask questions or something. Drag it down there. Double click on it. Change the color to white. And you can change the font if you don't like it. And then I'm just going to duplicate that layer since it's the same size I want. Okay. At this point, what you want to do? you want to file export as JPEG turn the quality all the way up 
save and you got it in your downloads now you want to start new and you want to name you want to make the dimensions 2560 by 1440 because you have to make it this size for YouTube create now you just want to bring in your image of your banner bring it down to the center hit that check mark and now file export as JPEG save and there you go now you could upload it on your YouTube and only this will show not the white part so this is an example you got your two social media medias I don't know um, you don't have to have that if you don't want maybe in the future I might make templates or something and people can use them to just put in their own stuff you guys let me know what you think about that I might do like a patreon or something eventually and have like templates that I will give to you guys that'd be pretty cool but that really sums it up I mean there's so much you can do with it. You could watch my other tutorials and add on to this. But I think this is a good looking banner. And you could make it pretty easily. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe please. Almost at 200 subs. And I'll see you in the next one.